Hello and a warm welcome to All Aboard. I'm Sharon Furster and in this series we'll take an exclusive look on board many of the famous cruise ships sailing the ocean waves. Coming up in this edition of the programme, Richard Cross is cruising on board Cruise and Maritime Magellan. Plus he's also enjoying luxury cruising with Oceania and Celebrity Cruises. Let's start and head on board Magellan. Welcome on board the Magellan. <laughs> she is the flagship of the cruise and maritime fleet. She's an adult only vessel and she's a real beauty when you step on board. This is the atrium area and it's one of the first places you come to when you're exploring this beautiful ship. There's a reception desk where the staff are on hand to help you on your cruise holiday. There's also a great excursion desk too. With the smaller vessels, cruise and maritime can get into the smaller ports of call. So there's excursions off the beaten track that you might want to try and the staff here can tell you all about them. So come with me as we go and explore the Magellan. The Magellan has plenty of areas for you to sit down, relax and let the world sail past you. From corridors with panoramic views to cosy entertainment venues, it's all waiting for you on board. Now one of the great things about a cruise holiday is being able to get away from everything and relax. But if you do want to keep in touch with people back home or see what's happening around the world, you can come here to the Internet Cafe. It's open throughout the day and all you can do is just log on and find out what's happening back home. Now we're on board the Lido deck here which is located at the back of the ship. It's a great place with lots of open space where you can sit back, enjoy your cruise holiday with some great views. There's also the Lido bar behind me if you want a refreshing cocktail maybe, whilst you're having a dip in the pool. Also on here there are two jacuzzis and I think I'll go and have a dip in those right now. This is the grill, it's by the swim pool, a great place here where you can enjoy burgers, hot dogs and fries. It's served at lunchtime and it's also served at early evening as well. And what better way than to eat some great food in the sunshine right by the pool. Excuse me, I'm hungry. There's plenty of places to eat al fresco. If you want an informal light option, there's always Raffles Bistro with an impressive selection of hot or cold meals or snacks. Now this is the Raffles Bistro on board the Magellan. It's a place where you can come for breakfast, you can come for lunch, or you can come here for your evening meal if you want a, a buffet option as opposed to one of the main restaurants. Now there's a great selection of soups, salads, cooked meats, fresh fruit and vegetables, and there's also some great melon here, which I think I'll start on. There's also pizza over there where they cook the pizza right in front of your very eyes. It's well worth a visit here. And there's also a great selection of desserts, pastries and cakes if you're looking for a light snack in the afternoon. There's two main restaurants on board, the Waldorf restaurant and the Kensington restaurant. Both offer a traditional two-seating gourmet evening meal. When I was on board, there was an incredible nine-course menu with plenty of choices. Well here we are in the Jade Wellness Centre where you can get all sorts of award winning treatments and pampering whilst you're on your cruise holiday and what better way to enjoy your cruise to know that you're being pampered. There's also a nail bar here as well and I'm in the salon where I've just had my hair cut. Thank you. We're here in the Jade Wellness Center in the thermal suite where you can be pampered whilst on board the Magellan. There's a range of treatments you can have. There's an oriental hammam, a herbal bath, or my favorite, the sauna. Or if you fancy a more personal experience, there are treatments available in the therapy rooms. Or if you don't want to go alone or you want to go with a friend or a loved one, you can go as a couple. But now I'm about to get ready to go to the sauna. 
Well, I'm certainly feeling more refreshed now. This is one of the most impressive wellness centres I have ever seen afloat, with so many different pampering and beauty treatments on offer. And of course, after all that food, there's a gym so you can work out with great sea views. The gym is open daily and included in your cruise fare. Welcome to Sinatra's Bar. Now, if you're wondering why it's called that, you don't have to go far to see why. Now, this Rat Pack era themed bar is a great hangout for you to come to if you fancy a pre-dinner drink or a late night cocktail before you retire to bed. There's live entertainment that takes place here. We've got a piano in the corner. We've also got a dance floor if you want to get up and have a dance. So make sure you come here to Sinatra's Bar. Now we're on deck nine on the Magellan deck here. This is the captain's club, which offers a great place for you to sit back and relax in the daytime, or there's some great alternative evening entertainment, which takes place live entertainment on board the Magellan. So just sit back, relax, and enjoy. There's entertainment every night of your cruise holiday, from dancers to musicians and vocalists to magicians. The accommodation is well appointed and very spacious with a selection of cabins from inside, outside to suites. And before bed, don't forget to visit Scott's nightclub where you can dance into the early hours of the morning. It's all waiting for you on the Magellan. Thanks Richard. Now, if you want more information on cruising, our first time guide to cruising is available to you absolutely free of charge. If you'd like a copy, give us a call on 03330 032 216. Calls will be charged at standard national rates. You can also get in touch and request a copy through our website at www.holidayandcruisechannel.co.uk. And while you're requesting that, We'll take a quick break and see you back here shortly. Hello and welcome back to All Aboard, the series where we take you on board cruise ships for a look behind the scenes. Let's head to the dockside and join Richard Cross, who's cruising in luxury with Oceania Cruises. Welcome on board Oceania Cruises. This is premium luxury. Now, when you step on board, this is the main atrium. There's a place for excursions and there's a place for reception as well. So come with me as we explore Oceania Cruises Marina. Wow, what can I say? This is the grand dining room. You can come here for lunch or you can come for dinner. There's a great menu here which serves some fantastic offerings. Oceania cruisers are known for their food. There's something for everyone here. There's the always available if you want to try that. There's the main courses and there's even the healthy living choices which have been especially adapted by the Canyon Ranch Bar. There's the magnificent chandelier there as well. It's all waiting for you here in the grand dining room. This is one of the speciality restaurants on board. There's four speciality restaurants and this is Tuscana and what a grand, lovely place it is. Now there's no cover charge to eat here at all. You can make a booking before your cruise holiday or whilst you're on board. There's great Versace china, there's the crystal, there's the stunning works of art and there's a great wine tower as well at the end of the corridor. You can come here and enjoy a great evening meal and the food is absolutely lovely. Wow, look at that Venetian glass chandelier. This is one of the private rooms that you can come and hire. It's $250 for the evening and seats up to 10 people if you're having a special occasion, maybe an anniversary or a celebration on board. The great thing is it's real leather chairs as well that you sit in. Of course, you've got the crystalware and the fantastic tableware. You can order anything from the Toscana restaurant or from the Polo restaurant as well. You can choose and you get this room for the entire evening. This is amazing.
Now, if you're looking for something a bit more straightforward, you can come here to the Polo Grill. It's a very masculine bar. It's a very club atmosphere. You can come here for steaks, or there's uh, grills, or even the gorgeous lobster, which is absolutely fantastic. Again, you can make a reservation to come here before your cruise holiday or whilst you're on board, and you get great stunning views of the scenery all around you. This is the Terrace Cafe on board. Now, this is open for breakfast, lunch and dinner. You can come here maybe if you fancy a lighter snack in the day if you've been busy exploring one of the great shore excursions that Oceania cruisers do. Now, the staff will prepare the meats in front of you. They will serve them on your plate and you can come here and pick from any of the empty tables. It's all here for you on board Oceania cruisers. Well, if you want to eat al fresco, you can come here to Waves Grill. Where else can you come for a burger with black truffle sauce? The menu is absolutely immense. What you do is you go and see one of the waiters. He will take how you want your food cooked. You go and take one of the empty tables, and the food will be cooked freshly for you and served to you on board. There is so much choice as well. Make sure you come here to Waves Grill. This is Jacques Papin's restaurant on board. It's French cuisine. It's all done by family recipes as well. It's great to come and have a meal in here. You should try it. Well, this is Baristas, which is open from 6 o'clock in the morning right through until 6 o'clock in the evening. You can come here for a morning coffee or maybe an afternoon refreshment if you fancy. And there's even some little cakes as well. Well, I've found the boutiques here on board. There's places where you can get jewellery, you can pick up some clothes as well if you want to. Now, I'm going to pick up some souvenirs for the people back home. Well, there's lots and lots of things you can do here on the top deck of Oceania. There's plenty of open deck space. You can even have a go of tennis in the tennis courts. And my favourite thing, there's even golf as well. Wow, this is the Canyon Ranch Bar. If you want some pampering on board, you can head here. There's all sorts of treatments you can get. There's a fountain of youth as well. You can just sit back, relax and be pampered. There's a salon, there's private treatment rooms, there's lots of things here. You need to come here and enjoy some relaxation and pampering. Well, I'm on the heated relaxation bed here, just sitting back and relaxing on board in the Canyon Ranch Bar. I've had a facial, I've had my seaweed wrap, and I've had my massages. I'm just going to sit back, relax, and let the world sail past. Well, after all that food, you can head to this area. There's the gym here, and this is Kinesis, where you can come and use the state-of-the-art equipment. There's classes that are held here. You've got a great padded floor as well, and all you need to do is just pull these handles, and you can do a great workout. Thanks, Richard. And staying on the luxury theme, let's head on board another ship with Richard, and this time, he's on board Celebrity Eclipse. Welcome on board the Celebrity Eclipse. This is one of five in the Solstice class of fleet. We're here on the Lawn Club, which is an exclusive area on top deck where it's real grass on board. You can maybe have a picnic here if you want to. You can enjoy a great drink on board. You can play games on board as well. Imagine cruising and having a cocktail from the real grass on top deck. So come with me as we explore the Celebrity Eclipse. There's activities you can do, like a game of balls. Or maybe a game of croquet. Well, this is the library on board the Celebrity Eclipse. There's a great selection of books here spanning over two decks. It's so whether you want a travel guide to read about the destinations you're visiting, or if you want to just pick up a novel, sit back and enjoy, you can do. It's all here for you in the library.
the glass-fronted lifts run through the heart of the ship where you can access all decks. Celebrity Cruisers pride themselves on being an environmentally friendly cruise line. Now you can come along here to Team Earth where you can find out more information about that. You can also get in touch with concierge from here where you can discover which destinations you'll be visiting next. If you want an informal casual meal, head for Ocean View Cafe, which is open throughout the day for breakfast, lunch, dinner and snacks. If you're feeling adventurous, there's also a sushi bar, but I'm not quite sure that my palate's ready for this just yet. Here you can get ice cream and cookies if you fancy a midday snack, or just a place to meet friends or fellow travellers. We're here in the Moonlight Sonata restaurant on board the Celebrity Eclipse, which is open for breakfast, and lunch and evening meal. Now there's a different set menu every night of your cruise holiday, but if you don't see anything that takes your fancy, there's the Celebrity Favourites where you'll find something that's always available every evening. The centrepiece of the restaurant is the Wine Tower, and with the onboard sommeliers who are there to advise what wine will complement your meal. Welcome to Lumine. This is a speciality restaurant which is for sweet guests here on Celebrity Eclipse. Now it's open for breakfast, lunch and dinner. If you're not booked into a suite, you can also come here for just a small cover charge and subject to availability. It's got a great menu. I think I'm going to start with the main lobster salad and the Alaskan halibut for my main course. Now it's not hard to find places to relax on board the Celebrity Eclipse. Take this luxurious cabana here by the pool deck. This is modern luxury. Now if the outdoor pool isn't for you, then why not come here to the solarium? It's got all the features that you'll find in the outdoor pool area. It's also got two jacuzzis and there's a bar as well so you can relax and enjoy the solarium. There's also private cabanas and a cafe here as well. Now when you're on board the Celebrity Clips, why not pop over here to the Solstice Deck where you can sit back and enjoy some great sunshine. You can also enjoy cocktail from Slush, which is the new frozen cocktail bar which is exclusive to the Solstice class of ships. This is the Sky Suite on board, which is the entry level of the suite class with Celebrity Cruisers. Now there's lots of space all around. You get your own private balcony, which is larger than the balcony staterooms. Amenities also include a bathtub with luxury accessories in the bathroom, your own personal butler who will look after you throughout the duration of your cruise holiday, and entry to speciality restaurants like Lumine. Sky Suite isn't for you, then why not try this, the Royal Suite. You've got your own private balcony where you can enjoy the stunning views as you're enjoying your cruise holiday. There's a hot tub, there's massive space inside as well with your own little living quarter as well. As well as the suites, there's staterooms to suit all budgets from insides, ocean views and balconies. As you can see, the suites are well equipped and might be an idea if you're celebrating a special occasion whilst on board.
As well as the main restaurant, there's other speciality dining venues around the ship which you can experience for a cover charge. Cellar Masters is the onboard wine bar where you can experience an array of familiar and unknown wines from all around the world. The Martini Bar and Crush has an ice top bar with waiters putting on a show producing cocktails in front of your very eyes. There's an art gallery on board and the new world class bar where mixologists make cocktails from spirits. The main theatre puts on Broadway West End style tribute shows with songs and dance where the audience can take part. Thanks Richard. Now just a quick reminder about our first time guide to cruising is available to you absolutely free of charge. If you'd like a copy, give us a call on 03330 032 216. Calls will be charged at standard national rates. You can also get in touch and request a copy through our website at www.holidayandcruisechannel.co.uk. Well, Sadly, that's all we have time for on this edition of All Aboard, but do join me next time when we'll be taking a look on board more cruise ships. Until then, goodbye. Mm -hmm.